YouTube, we are here. It is the final session of prep. So we thought we'd get Adam here to sort of savor the, the moment. We're going for an upper session. It's, you know, minimal intensity. It's essentially just to get our last look. And then we'll I'll go for a bit of an update as well. So it's been a another bloody roller coaster. Fuck me. Obviously, as you would have seen, last peak week started off with a car accident. This peak week, I woke up Monday and I, I, I like had the biggest distended stomach ever. And I was like, what is going on? Obviously, all foods are the same. There's there no changes. There's sort of no reason as to why. Very painful. I thought, get up get moving, do some cardio, and hopefully that'll sort of, maybe I'll you know, go toilet or something. And then as I was on the, on the cardio, I started getting a real sharp pain in here, like really isolated, to the point where I was on the stairs and I was like, it was forcing me to curl up. So me being a retard, I thought, I just, I'll go on the recumbent bike. <laughs> Continue to get worse to the point where I'm in the gym so obviously I do my cardio early, so there's no one in there. And I'm in agony, I'm in agony. To the point where I'm like, I can't move. Like I was paralyzed with pain. So I've, I've gone my way into the car, like literally like this, walk into the car. And I was like, surely I've just got to ride this out. I get home, lay down, I'm sweating, pain's here, stomach's out here. It's not going away. I lay there for two hours. Now I'm gonna have to call. My initial thought was appendicitis because of the isolated pain here. So I call an ambulance. They take about half an hour and I am making all sorts of noises. I was almost laughing at myself. I was like, like uncontrollable, like, Ugh. Ambulance comes, I get taken to hospital and they run some tests. And uh, I get given a load of painkillers. And I managed to go to the toilet, it was really painful. Anyway, long story short, I'm all good. I had a blood work panel done as well for free. Hey. Which come back all good. Finger up the bum as well. Didn't expect that, but there we go. And the doctor believes I passed a, a kidney stone. So that's one way to kick things off. Totally random. Obviously being assisted, how much drugs I was on. I was thinking in the back of my head, if something happened, you know, this, that and the other, of course. Fortunately, we're all good. A little bit of pain here from where it probably was. There's a, there's a tube that runs from your kidneys to your your gonads, and that's where the pain was as well, so it does make sense. Rested up, had a nap, cracked on. So that was uh, the hurdle, and now we're here. So it's been a tough one, like bloating, weight dropped. I feel overall okay. It was just a really tough time, so my weight's dropped by two kilos as well in the last day, so I'm very flat. We have to feed up again if you watch the last video, same thing happened, so it's a challenge. That's what, that's what we do, isn't it? We, we overcome these challenges and we keep bloody going. So thank you for listening to my TED talk once again. You could not write it. I literally thought to myself, and then you could, don't be a victim. What can we, what can we control? Let's bloody just crack on. Everyone has their own shit to deal with. And it just happened to be my turn. So we are two days out and we're going to film one day out, a show day. Going to be amazing. We made it. Yeah, I feel like I'm green inside from the tread. I feel like it's a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And like, you first And then it just... Nip, nip, that's it. Nip, you get to it's like a parasite. It just 
chips away at your like psyche, your reality, your perspective. It's fascinating. You've got to be able to really look at yourself objectively if you're going to take it. Yeah, and now I can. Yeah. It looked like when I first started. Yeah, yeah, not a clue, is it? Just in the in the woods, mate. We just said, obviously, we we've been on a prolonged cycle now. So it's twenty weeks in total, so we're both feeling like you just feel like rough. You feel a bit like I don't. Know, I think because if you're quite introspective and you think about how like it, get in your own head. But we're just saying, like, trend kind of is like a it's like a piranha. It just it just chips away at your psyche and chips away at your mental well-being and chips away at your perspective. So you have to really be able to view your emotions outside of your head because it just changes how you see the world. So we're just saying how we just cannot wait to get rid of that. Fortunately for us, like we're in a place where obviously we're old and we're gray and we've, we've been through it enough to understand how we feel isn't how we need to respond. But if you are getting into this journey, keep a journal, reflect on how you feel because ultimately what matters in life your relationships, your job, it's not this. And this will take over if you're not careful. So just develop clear communication with yourself and be mindful. If it gets too much, fucking stop, because it's not worth it. Bodybuilding is not worth your quality of life. So the last thing you want to do this close to the show is give yourself bloody doms. You got to think you're probably your lowest weight, your most depleted. The objective is to obviously remove fatigue. So today's session for us was really just to catch up because this is the final session before a new chapter begins. Josh will be on his way to wherever life takes him next. And just to get a bit of a pump, have a look at the photos, get a bit of an assessment. So. We just we just chill and kill some time as well. Kind of like pre-game day feeling where you just want to occupy your mind and take your headspace away from things you can't control. You know, you find you just start thinking about what could go wrong, the pressure of it. So do really enjoy it. I enjoy training. So take a long, have a look, feed up. But yeah, keeping yourself busy is so important when you're on prep. The brain has a lovely tendency to try and try and hold you back, just try and make you self-sabotage. So there's one that's learning to handle that for sure. But if there's things you can implement in your day which removes that stimulus from that happening, then there's all the wind. So like for me, I love to have a bath. I love to pop on YouTube. Those little things you've got to really discover about what actually helps you relax and not be constantly thinking about the outcome of something. I think bodybuilding is, is becoming a thing now where it's more than a hobby, you're an athlete. And obviously, fortunately for myself, that being an athlete in pressure was all I knew from a really young age. So I had that experience there, which I've been able to carry through into bodybuilding and been able to carry through with, 
with clients who maybe didn't have the you know, athletic background and developing that mindset around dealing with pressure, dealing with doubt. Because for us, the training's easy. You know, the physical pain, you know, the suffering of the physicality of it, but the difference between any athlete in, the, in any sport is the, is the mindset, right? And how they, how they manage things. And that's the thing that you really have to develop. And the most important thing in developing that is knowing yourself and knowing what helps you relax and not being so fixated on things you literally have no control of. So that's why with bodybuilding in comparison to any other sport is you can be the best and you can still lose. Whereas if you're the best UFC fighter on the night, you're gonna knock them out, you're gonna win if you have a good performance. Whereas you can have a great performance in bodybuilding and still lose. So therefore you have to let go of that outcome and appreciate your efforts and your journey and enjoy that more than putting so much expectation on a result, which unfortunately you can't control other than doing the best you can. And the best you can is the best you can. It's not to say I've ticked every single box at 100%, blah, blah, blah. it's the best you can do at that moment. As time goes on, you might tick every single box. When you're just starting out, there's going to be blips, hiccups. You're still doing the best you can. So when you get on that stage, you know you did the best you can. And that is something which no one can ever take away from you. That's the win. Not getting validation from someone sat on the other side of the table, determining if you're good or not. Comes from here and enjoying that. Hopefully. And if you don't enjoy it, there you go. <laughs> Onwards we go. I had the, the most monstrous shit in my life. Thing is, oh, what a feeling, finally. Well, I, I woke up in the morning and I tried to go and I, I just had a little drop came out. I went, no, because I'm like this. It's three days worth of food. I was on. I'm bearing in mind that I have 3,000 calories a day still. 9,000 calories worth of food in the light, yeah, I'm using something, whatever. And I wake up with a little drop, and I'm like, no. Yeah, I go do like an hour work, have a coffee, and I'm like, yes. Lightning strikes. <laughs> this is it, boys. It feels so good. I run, I get my phone off charge, I sit down, I get my phone, I go, I can't even go on my phone. It's one of those ones where you can't even be on your phone. Oh, well. Well. Online, right? Water breach. I'm still hairy though, so I'm missing out on a... Two days out, or two days. So there we go, an emotional... Emotional end, you know, me and Josh have been riding that for eight weeks together. It's been a unique one for sure. Being out to obviously with one of my closest friends. It's been a hell of a ride. One in which just bonds you so hard because you're both going through the ringer. And there's so much shit that you guys obviously won't see on social media. There's been tears. There's been all sorts. So to get to share that with someone who is on the same page, has really, really helped from an athlete perspective. And so now, you know, the, the job is done. It's time to head back, prep, prepare, and then enjoy the final page to this particular chapter in two days time. As we said, we're gonna, we're gonna capture this one as best as we can. Obviously, I'm gonna, I'm going to be in my game day headspace a little bit, but I'm sure there'll be times I come out of my shell a little bit, as you guys can see, I have a little burst of energy here and there. Once again, as always, thank you for taking the time to watch. Really appreciate it. As always, a like and a comment helps the movie channel grow. Let's do it. I'll see you in the next one.